Mr. Candidate, can you write a C program to generate the below pattern? Have you or any of your knowns encountered such questions in interviews or at any other place of discussion? Such pattern related questions are considered to be very important by the point of view of logic building and problem solving. Did you know pattern based questions were quite popular in interviews among many software companies once? I am going to explain you the best way to solve pattern based questions. I will take one pattern based question and then we'll do coding together. I will then navigate you to many questions based on patterns which is also the part of our assignment number eight. You would be able to crack any such question at the end of this video. So let's go. Let me quickly uh, discuss two patterns right now and then I will walk you through the assignment which is related to patterns. The first pattern that you see on the screen right now is a star pattern wherein you can see there are four stars, three stars, two stars and one star. Let's try to understand this. We see this pattern as in the first line there are four stars printed. In the second line there are three star printed. In the third line there are two star printed and in fourth line there is one star printed and you see the blank spaces after the starts. If you see such kind of pattern wherein the blank spaces are at the end, you should really not care about. So basically any pattern that you are going to work on or try to do question on pattern, you have to be, uh, you have to understand this thumb rule. The thumb rule is there is an outer loop. The outer loop is for number of lines. So in this example, if you say, uh, one, two, three, and four. There are four lines. So the outer loop will run from one to four or four to one, whatever way, but it will be running for four times. So this is for lines, number of lines. The outer loop is for number of lines. The first rule. The second rule says that there is there should be an inner loop for printing blanks. If you are required really to print blanks before the stars or before any letters, then you have to write an inner loop. In our first example, we do not see the blanks need to be printed before the stars so we can ignore that inner loop and the third loop is the third rule is inner loop for printing stars so then you have to write an inner loop which will really print the stars every line okay so i think now we are clear about these three rules number one outer loop for number of lines number two inner loop for printing blanks and number three inner loop for printing stars if blanks are always not required so I will quickly take you to the example and we'll try to do this question in, in, in demo. Okay, so let's go there. So I am here in a uh, online editor and I'm trying to uh, do this question. Let's do this question together. This question is write a C program to generate the below pattern. So you see there are one, two, three, and four. Then the rule says outer loop is for number of lines. Okay. So the outer loop is for a number of lines. So I will create a couple of variables. I am creating i and j variables for loop. And let's say write a loop is four and i is greater than or equal to one and i minus minus. Okay. I will tell you the reason why I am running this loop uh, in reverse from four to one, not from one to four. Okay. So this is for what you call this is for outer loop. And what you do is you have to at the end of this loop, you have to write something called printf and slash n. The slash n tells that I am done with some star printing and then I need to make a new row, new, new row, right? A new line. That's why this is that. So the outer loop work is finished here. Now we need to run a loop inside. Okay. So let's run a loop. So in first sequence, how many stars are to be printed? So let's see, run the loop for j equals 1 and j should be running how many times so you see the first line j is running how many times four times in second line j is running how many times j means how many stars printed four stars in second time how many stars printed three stars and third time how many stars printed two stars and in the fourth time how many stars printed one star so if i say j is 1 and j is equal to i i which is four first and say j plus plus okay make sense all right, and here I am going to print what do you say? Value of, I mean, star. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now, what will happen? See, the first time i is 4, so this loop will come inside. So, if you say i is 4, then it will check if i is greater than 1. Yes, it is 4, then it is greater than 1, then it will come inside. 
and the j run will run from 1 to 4. So how many times this loop will run? This loop will run for 4 times. So the how many times the star will be printed? 4 times. And then it will come out and the new line will be printed. So you just imagine 4 stars and new line. Again the value of j i has come down to 3. Now it will come again the loop inside and then j will run from 1 to 3 and 3 stars will be printed. Okay. So let's run the loop for you first. You see that the program has got executed and it has printed the same pattern. All right. So hope this makes sense. I will take you to the next level and I'll try to explain another question. So next question is this one, wherein you see that in first line, one star printed, in second line, two star printed, in third line, three star printed, and the fourth line, four star printed. This looks fine here, but the problem here is the stars are not printed from the beginning. I mean, there are some blank spaces also printed first. So let, let's understand this. You see this in the first line. There are four lines, first of all. If there are four lines, then you need to run a loop for four times. That is fine. Outer loop is clear. Now, in inner loop, you say in first line, there are three blank spaces printed and then one star printed. That means in inner loop, you have to run two inner loops for, uh, for blank space one and for star one. So for blank spaces, there would be a loop running and there, then there would be a loop running for star. Okay. So let me take you for this demo. So I am there in online editor and I have written this pattern for you and I kind of written the program as well to explain you quickly because the first basic program we did together and second program I have written for you. I think this is pretty much similar, but uh, uh, there is little difference is that this has got an extra inner loop. So it is this, this one, I told you that there are three blanks and then one star. So the outer loop runs here from one to four, which is good. There are four lines, then, 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 the, then the loop is running for four times. Within this loop, there is an, the loop running for blanks. So how many times the blanks will be printed? First time the blank will be printed for three times. So I'm running a loop from 404 and I am going until this is greater than one. So from four to two, this will come and then I'm printing the blank spaces. So you have to find the relation, right? So everything is there in this relation only. So how many blanks? Three blanks. So I can correlate with the I value and then I know that from four, there are maximum value is four. So I run a loop from four to two. So four, three, two, that is three times the blank will be printed. And just below the blank, I'm running a loop from one to I. So one to I means as many times as I. First time I is one, so there would be one star printed. And after that, this new line will be generated. Okay. So I think this is clear now. So let me run the loop and show if this works for you. So the loop is running and we could get the similar pattern here, right? So I think now you are uh, you are well aware of the fact that how are the pattern programs written? There is a very basic rule. I mean, three three points that we have already discussed, which will help you write any kind of uh, pattern related program. I will now walk you through the other questions which are based on patterns on the assignment number eight. So let's navigate to the assignment page. So I am in Google Chrome and I am trying to open code with abby.blogspot.com. Navigating to assignment C programming and then I am trying to open assignment number eight for you. This is the assignment. You see that this assignment is based on nested loops. These questions are pattern based and will really improve your problem solving skills that we all know. This is a pattern one we have already done. Pattern two, pattern three, pattern four, pattern five, six, seven, eight, nine. And likewise, there are many pattern questions on this. There are 24 questions. I am pretty much sure that once you are done with these 24 questions, you would be able to do any pattern ever of whatever complexity it is. So try to do these questions. Write me if you are finding any issues related to any of the pattern or if you have any more complex pattern which you want to work with me and you need my inputs on that, please write me uh, over the email or comment me. Subscribe for more updates. Comment or write us at mailtokowithabby at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.